For the design of a control system, it's important to know how the system of interest behaves and how it responds to different controller designs. To do this, the dynamic equations of the system are obtained and are solved to get the dynamic response. There are three different domains within which the dynamic response of a system is studied for the purpose of control design. These are the Laplace domain, the frequency domain, that's what we look at this week so far, and the state space. So today we will talk about the Laplace domain. When you're working with Laplace transform, it's important to understand that it will allow you to solve differential equation while taking into consideration initial condition. And that's why it's very useful when you study vibration. We've seen this week um, when we were studying different um, system, we always had some initial condition. So we will use the Laplace transform as a mathematic tool to solve equations and study the dynamic response of a system depending on parameters. So the first part today will discuss the mathematical definition of Laplace transform and we'll see how Maple deal with that as well. And then the second part we will just apply that to an example that will be a spring mass example with uh, viscous damping. So the Laplace transform of a real function will be defined like that, with S being a complex variable. And so the Laplace transform really provides the ability to transform a differential equation into a form that can then be man manipulated algebraically. So let's have a look here. Let's say we have this um, differential equation. Then we are using the Laplace transform to get f of s. And then the solution of this differential equation will be the inverse of the Laplace transform and that will be defined like that. Where here c is a constant that's greater than the real parts of all the singularities of f of s and j is the square root of minus one. Now, in practice, we won't really be using this kind of equation. Instead of that, um, all the Laplace inverse for different kind of functions can be found using tables, like um, table that we have here with all the common function of Laplace transform. So that list um, of function and the transform can be found like on textbook and internet very easily. And when we, you have functions that are not um, simple enough um, so that you can find the transform into the tables like that, you have some theorem in, in place, um, theorem of Laplace transform uh, and different technique um, like partial fraction expansion we'll see after that uh, will be used to rearrange the equations in a form that then you can recognize um, as a combination of different simple function and then you'll be able to apply the inverse Laplace um, from the table. And then another way, it's also to use Maple uh, because we have built-in function into Maple to find very quickly the inverse Laplace transform. And with Maple, uh, you will have to use the um, entrance package to have access to uh, the Laplace transform command. And now what we can do is we can compare um, some uh, manual resolution and resolution with Maple of a uh, certain function. And so like that, we'll be able to compare the different steps um, that we have when you do like mathematical resolution using the equation we defined before and when you're using uh, the package from, my, from Maple. So the first function here, f of t, uh, will be equal to um, 0 when t is less than 0 and equal to 1 when t is greater than 0. If you're working like um, with the previous equation, you will um, do the resolution like this, so using the equation we used before and you obtain uh, 1 over s. 
when you're doing with Maple, uh, what you will have, it's um, you will need to define the function. So here using the piecewise function and then using the Laplace um, command, you put your function and your variable um, T and S here and you get the same result. If we have a look here at the derivative, so if you're doing it manually here, you'll have to do like integration by part. And you can see you have like several steps to get um, the result. Where into Maple, um, the derivative function is already implemented and with the Laplace command, you can get um, the result for the derivative function and then do an evaluation to get the exact, exact same result. But you can see here, you have several steps for the manual resolution where you have only two commands to know um, with Maple. And as we are looking at this table, we'll realize that um, the most com more complex is the function and longer, more steps you will need to solve manually, where with Maple, with a simple command, sometimes a couple, you will get the same result. So Maple will do it for you and will do it quickly. So we can get the Laplace transform and its inverse um, with Maple. So like that, we can get the solution of the differential equation. And even if you have like very complex cases where you need to use like method of uh, partial fraction expansion, for example, Maple will still do it in a couple of, te of steps for you. And we'll have an example uh, about that just, uh, just now. So in this example, um, we will have um, this system here. So we have um, a differential equation that's um, describing this system for a um, spring mass system with damping, and we have an external force as well. We know um, some of the parameters here, and we want to use the Laplace transform to find the solution of this, um, of this differential equation. So we'll first do an analy analytical solution. We'll do it manually. Then we'll use Maple to solve it. And then we'll have a look at uh, what we get into Maple Sim. So if we um, look at the um, manual steps here that you will do to solve this um, differential equation using Laplace transform, so we taking um, the Laplace transform for both sides of the equation here that we have, we replace with the parameters that we know. We rearrange the equation to get X of S. We factorize and so like that, we can then use the pass partial fraction method here um, to when we factorize the uh, function and then we can so solve for uh, A1, A2, A3. And then when it's solved for specific cases here, we can uh, rewrite the um, Laplace transform. We can go back to the table, use the property like we know, because here we recognize some uh, function and then we can get the solution. So you can see you have to use several method um, and you have um, different steps so it take it takes some some times now within maple with the command um, uh, from maple you will have to use the um, entrance um, package um, what you will need to do the first step is to um, define your laplace transform uh, for both part of the equation here you will write it to make it like uh, in um, in a form that Maple will recognize, X of S. And then we just use the inverse Laplace command, SST uh, or variable here. And we get the exact same equation. And here, this equation, what, what does it tell us? Um, it tells us like as T uh, will go to infinity, the displacement will um, be of uh, alpha meter. 
And we can check that on a graphic, actually. Um, so we can plot this displacement into Maple. So we'll use here the um, plot command, and we can see as t goes to infinity, um, the displacement tends to alpha meter. And we can work with the same um, example, with the same system into Maple Sim and see what we will have. So just a reminder, Maple Sim. So we've seen um, quickly this software yesterday and the day before. It's a multi-physics software that will allow you to um, simulate to model um, some uh, various system using um, the equation. So you have um, accurate uh, response of your system. So let's have a look at Maple Sim. So here in Maple Sim, we reproduce the same system. Um, so we're using components here to get um, so our uh, mass here. So same parameters, one kilo. We have our spring here. And you can find the same variable, the same parameters as what we had in, in the example, damping constant and spring constant. And here we have the force um, to Newton. So, okay, we have the same information as um, we had in two maple. We're adding a probe here to uh, record the displacement of the mass. So here our full system, we run a simulation and we get this plot. So here, displacement versus time. And you can see it's the same thing as in um, Maple. And here you can see as um, the time increase, your displacement tend to be like half a meter. So with um, Maple, we've seen that you can solve um, some differential equation using Laplace transform. You have some packages included that will help you to solve it quick, quicker than uh, doing it uh, manually. And you can also uh, simulate your um, system with MapleSim um, to get the physical response of the system.